Good day YouTube. Today is the 9th of February 2021. This is a project golf cart. I did a video on it posted today. Um, it's a 1986 I believe uh, club car DS. This is a 36 volt electric cart. It's kind of an old school um, where it doesn't have an electronic controller. Um, it kind of has uh, solenoids and um, resistor coils and etc to vary the speed um, I put brand new batteries in it uh, in the previous video and redid all the cables and um, and it uh, came back to life and uh, does good so uh, now we have to deal with the cosmetics of this thing a little bit I'm trying to make it look a little better someone has made a hard uh, what do you call it enclosure um, with some steel, like three-quarter inch, maybe one inch, uh, square tube, I think it's three-quarter, uh, door frames, magnetic catches, and uh, plexiglass. Looks like a can of spray paint exploded um, near the uh, golf cart, and uh, it is just covered with it. I have had this to the car wash and washed it off, but uh, now we're going to have to do some deeper cleaning. Look at that. It looks like a tire burn right there. I used to race cars. So I used to take them off race cars every week. But uh, anyway, I wiped this down. I actually had some uh, spray gun cleaner. And uh, it's going to come right off of the paint. I'm not sure how it'll work on the Plexi. Um, it's got some stickers and stuff that are, you know, not very good condition anymore. We're going to get those off of there. And just clean this thing up. Make it presentable. The um, seat's pretty good. Um, it's got a little repair going on right there. We'll try to scrub that down um, and just kind of make it nicer. Um, certainly not going to make it new. I'm going to pick up a set of tires and wheels for it later today. Um, we'll have to see about getting this strap done. Uh, my father-in-law is going to use it for golfing, so he will need this to strap his golf clubs on there. So, um, what I need to do now is figure out where I'm going to work on it. Um, we got some uh, potential snow in the forecast. I'm going to actually put my Super Duty under the the big RV um, shelter there um, in case it's needed and you'll know, get the block heater plugged in and so forth so that uh, that'll work if I need it. Um, I've got my shop truck inside the shop uh, this bay and I don't want anything else that's in there outside. So I've got an idea. This is what I call my solar shed um, because uh, I didn't actually run electricity to it, but uh, I did put a 100 watt solar panel on it, on this end. And uh, it's not insulated or anything. It's where I keep my mowers and stuff. And you see that? I just mowed. It's February and I just mowed the lawn with my... Uh, if you want to see videos on this, this uh, SR 1433 snapper, uh, it's, it's, I had a, a older snapper rear engine rider, and then uh, somebody advertised this for free, and I went and got it, and uh, you got it running. It's got the 14 horsepower Kohler Command uh, engine on it, overhead valve. Um, what a fantastic mower this thing is for absolutely for free. The thing will last me the rest of my life. The seat wasn't even ripped. Are you kidding me? The thing is in fantastic shape. And uh, anyway, you can tell I really enjoy mowing with it. And I do. I think I had to put a, maybe a belt and a blade or something on it. It's very minimal. But I think what I'm going to do is take my 69 John Deere 140 h1 out of here i did put it on the charger for a while today and topped off the fuel and fired it up because if we get some snow i'm just dying to go out there with the uh, bucket loader and build the neighborhood kids a snow fort like they've never seen before or something like that that would be a blast um so that might happen later this week but i can take it out of here um and give me room for the golf cart and uh, maybe put the John Deere in front of the bus um, in the 40-foot uh, RV enclosure. I've got the the bus 35 feet, and I backed it up. I think that uh, enclosure is 41, 42 feet long, so I can put it under there and kind of keep it out of 
harm's way. So let me get some stuff moving around. And I'm going to move the golf cart into the solar shed um, so I can work on it for a day or three. Um, whatever I want to do. This is a small enough building. It doesn't take much to heat it. It was probably 28 degrees this morning. I expect the same. As clear and nice as it is today. It's just a beautiful day. Um, but we have a cold, cold morning. So um, let me get stuff moved around and we'll get it moved in here. And uh, we'll go to work on it. Well, the cleanup continues and we got the new wheels and tires. I was very pleasantly surprised. My 130 some mile round trip yesterday resulted in a set of tires and wheels that are brand new. They still all have the uh, nubbies on them. You can see that. He said, yeah, you'd only had the cart two weeks. And they did a lift and put wheels and tires on it. So I got the wheels and tires for 100 bucks, but then I went and spent 172 no, I spent $72 on great big lug nuts and center caps that fit those wheels. We have a local wheel shop that's got a back room full of center caps and I thought that would be a cool look that I haven't actually seen and uh, so it's hard to spend $72 on chrome doodads but we did it anyway um, because it makes it look less trashy and the uh, hubcaps are 50 bucks anyway so we did that so what else did we get done so far this morning it was really cold I had three heaters going on in the little shed trying to make it better in there so I got the front end all wiped down got all the paint splatters and garbage off of it um, including on the windshield but there was a sticker there and I put the heat to it and uh, after I got the sticker off it did this not while I was doing it afterwards it started off little then it just kept growing and growing and growing um, so evidently don't put the heat to I mean there was no other way to get that sticker off of there but I should have just left it on now. Um, so we got some polishing to do yet on the plastics that remain. I'm putting uh, new hinges on the doors and uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, it might be worth, uh, if this thing really works out, we can get a sheet of Lexan or something and cut new pieces out or uh, polycarbonate rather be better it wouldn't crack like this has but it still functions and that's the goal I think so I need to uh, still finish hinges today it'd be nice um, we've wiped the dirt and paint off we could start kind of just polish it a little bit um, probably clean up that seat a little bit and we're just cleaning and making presentable Kind of thing and then it's going to be about it i can't i can't think we're going to do too much more to it the front hubs seem real good probably throw some grease in the front suspension on it try to find a new strap for this bag holder as we continue the cleanup and so forth so autumn what do you think did we do good this morning she likes being out here with her dad hi sweetie autumn can you sit please autumn Listen, sit. Good girl. Well, if you got an itchy. Okay, gang, I'll uh, check back with you a little later. We started cleaning on the seat, and the seat's going to clean up real nice, even though it's got paint stains and everything else on it. So I thought I'd bring you in for the other half. Um, what I use, I used to buy this by the gallon, and pretty soon nobody carries it. But it's, uh, it used to be by Westies. Now it's Black Magic Bleach White. Not spelt like bleach like you do laundry with. Um, and there's no bleach in it. But it is what I've been using as a cleaner forever. Um, used to buy two, three gallons of it a year. And that's what would get it. And I got a couple brushes in uh, warm water. I have a feeling this is the same paint that we've been getting rid of on the exterior. This was, uh, I did drag this off of a, like a seven acre farm. It was in a little beat up 
old barn shed thing. So it no doubt saw golf duty because there was golf balls in it. But uh, I'm sure it saw duties around the farm as well. Try and stay out of the shot. <laughs> Try to get it brushed in so it can be working as we're trying to get rid of these stains. I don't know. I don't know. There's a cat on the fence. Pretty brave cat. Come on, little black stain. I don't know. find a cat stronger than you. Then what? Hmm? Look at there. Not bad. Oh. cleaned up better than I thought it would. All right, I'm gonna do the backrest. All right, we got it back in the shed. I took it out and we scrubbed the floor. The mat is like perfect. That's nice. Um, scrubbed it again with that white wool cleaner, bleach white, and hosed it out. And uh, armor all the seat. And I do that with, uh, I just put a, a vinyl or a glove on. And spray it down and then just 
wipe it with a vinyl glove instead of a rag to like absorb everything. We'll just let it soak, sit overnight. Um, yeah, very, very nice for an old beater. So cool. So I'm going to, I guess, just start kind of polishing on the plastics a little bit and uh, go from there. It's going to get cold again tonight. So uh, we're back in with the heater back on, as you can see through the window. All right, gang. Catch you in a little bit. All right, guys. I'm still fiddling around with this golf cart. I've had this little heater kicking around. Picked it up at a yard sale years ago. And it fits perfectly after I modified it a little bit uh, in that hole right there. Can you feel it? It's running. It's actually uh, more heat than I thought these old 12 volt heaters could deal with. Uh, remember when I got it, it needed work and I repaired it and then it was sitting on the shelf. But uh, you definitely feel it, definitely take the chill off. And uh, it's a 12 volt heater. Obviously, we have 36 volts of battery, so. I tapped uh, one pair, the six volt, the six, um, positive there, negative there. Um, the heater has uh, fuses in it on the, that side. It also, you can just turn the fan on to uh, go from heat to off to fan. So you give me a little bit of breeze in the summertime. And this switch haven't hooked them up yet, but uh, put some LED lights. The holes are already here. So I put some LED uh, headlights on it, fog lights on it, whatever you want to call them. Um, I just got hooked the wires up yet. Um, lots of fun. So it takes a lot longer to work on stuff out here in the shed because I'm not as tooled up as I am inside and it's a little tight. Uh, don't have a lot of room, but we're getting her done. Um, I don't know that we're going to get the snow that we were supposed to start getting later today. They kind of took it out of the forecast, or I think they did anyway. So uh, it's just been cold today, is all. So uh, got the little 12 volt TV going. Got all my little LED low voltage lights going, and uh, a couple heaters going. So. We're uh, staying warm and we're staying busy, and uh, that's the main thing. All I gotta do now is hook these lights up and uh, start buttoning that thing up. I keep looking at this section of the fiberglass, it's missing, and wondering about what to do with a couple pieces of aluminum, maybe, and back it up and put some maybe fiberglass reinforced. Uh, Bondo on it or something and recreate the corner. I don't really want to fiberglass it, but I might do that too. I don't know. Um, it's a lot of work, but it'd be nice if it was a little more presentable. We'll see what I have the energy for. All right, I'm going to continue working. We'll bring you back when I have more to show you. I sure like the uh, wheels and tires. I think I already showed you that. So, uh, yeah. It continues. Oh, I did get the plastics kind of polished out yesterday. Uh, for what they would, you know, they were completely stained. Um, I worked too long with a heat gun evidently there to get the stupid sticker off. I should have just left the sticker, but I didn't. Um, that ruined that windshield in that spot. Oh, well. The yeah, fiberglass in the rear is a little more faded. I cleaned it up what it will good enough for a golf cart. That's all it's going to get. So, progress, progress, progress. Alright guys, catch you in a little bit. Well guys, I think I got everything done that I intended to get done. With the exception of maybe that fiberglass repair and just a little more detailing. But the lights work really good. Even in my little shed. Turn them off. The heater, you can feel it for the driver's seat. It's awesome. It's hooked direct to the battery, so um, even before you start your golf game and so forth, you turn the heater on. I don't know. It's got a 20 amp fuse in it, so it probably draws, you know, 12, 13 amps or something. You got a 210 amp hour 12 volt battery effect effectively, so. Um, 
I don't know how long it takes to do nine holes of golf, a few hours. Shouldn't affect the battery much at all. Um, and then just recharge them uh, when it's done. The worst that could happen if you left it on, you know, all day long um, is you'll take 12 volts of your 36 volt out of the picture and you're coming back on 24. Um, as I did an earlier video, I didn't understand how the reverse switch that there um, had a wire tapped at 18 volts. And I believe that's for the reverse, so you don't have full voltage in reverse. So it cuts the voltage in half for when you put it in reverse. And that makes sense because you don't want this thing flying. And it goes fast enough in reverse. So uh, the idea that you wouldn't get back um, to the clubhouse um, on 24 volts, you absolutely would, even if you left the, bat the heater running for you know, hours and hours and hours. So I think she'd be just fine. Um, I can feel the warmth. It's better than most little 12 volt heaters. So good shape um, for some yard sale find. And in the summertime, it's got a fan only. It's actually variable speed. So you can dial it in. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching, commenting, and subscribing. And uh, give me a thumbs up on the way out if you would, please. We'll catch you guys on the next video.